Okay, guys, now, this is a sample question over here that you have for uh, displacement versus time. And what we're going to do is we're going to calculate over here your velocity at time over here equals to 2 seconds. Now, as you can see, time over here equals to 2 seconds over here. And I have told you over here earlier that you need to take your y and you need to divide it with your x. Now, to solve Roman 1, now this is what you do. Over here, your displacement, which is 5 meters, divided over here, which is your time, 2 seconds. Now, when you take 5 divide 2, technically you'll have 2.5 meters per second. Okay, so this is your answer over here, and this value over here for velocity, it's a positive value. Okay, because you end, you must remember, guys, that the velocity over here is fixed. That means all the way until time equals to 2 seconds, your velocity is 2.5 meters per second. Now, from time 2 to time 6, now, you can see that the displacement over here is exactly the same. Now, that means over here, there is no increase in displacement. So, from time 2 to time 6, technically over here, the vehicle or the car over here is not moving. Now, because it's not moving over here, your velocity technically equals to 0 meters per second. Okay? Now, lastly over here, what is the total distance? Now, guys, this is where you've got to be very, very careful. Eh? Now, when they are asking you over here, what is the total distance? Now, remember, your distance is a scalar quantity. And your displacement over here is a vector quantity. That means distance, it does not have a direction. But displacement over here, it has a direction. Both has magnitude. Magnitude over here means value. But distance does not have a direction. Displacement has a direction. Now what happens over here is, if I want to calculate the uh, distance over here, you can see from zero over here, the uh, particle over here has moved over here for five meters and then stops over here for four seconds. Now remember, 6 minus 2 over here, 4 seconds over here, your particle is not moving. Now, allow me to use the word either particle or car or vehicle because, you know, sometimes over here we don't know exactly what word they use in the exam. So over here, for 4 seconds, it's not moving. And then over here, from time 6 to 8 over here, you can see that it makes a U-turn. Now, remember over here, this is where it makes a U-turn. And it moves back over here to its initial position. Now, what happens over here is it moves for 5 meters and then turns back for over here for another 5 meters. So the distance is, it moves for 5 meters, turns back for another 5 meters, you have a total distance over here of 10 meters. But if the question over here is asking you for displacement, now you remember, it moves in the positive direction for 5 meters. But it moves in the negative direction for 5 meters. So technically over here what happens is your displacement is 0 meters. Alright. Now for the next uh, question over here I will do, uh, I will explain to you first about the velocity versus time graph.